Hi, everybody. Good morning. Um, I'm going to take my glasses off. Oh, there we go. So I let's see. It's Monday morning and um, the sun is starting to shine. I did have curtains on that window. <laughs> I put them on a spring rod and apparently they fell over the weekend. Uh, I guess I got to fix that. Oh, well, I must have had the spring rod tight enough. So I just wanted to show you a couple things that I've been working on. And um, I'm going to try not to move too quickly because my necklace that I have on really makes a lot of clanking noise. And I didn't realize that until right before I started uh, recording this. So this is another video blog. Now this weekend, I was really, really busy. Um, I'm going to show you this first. Can you see my Quiltinator wine glass? Now, I did record a couple videos last week, but I didn't put them up. So I'm going to tell you all about this. Last Monday, a week ago tonight, I or today, I went to the Macomb County Quilt Guild, and I sat with my part of my sewing group, because not all of them show up. Um, it's not just mine, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is the glass. I don't know if you can see. Maybe if I put my glasses on. Aha, now I can see. Okay, it says Pro Quilt a Nader. Okay, now my sister Renee, she has a Cricut, and she cut out the fonts using her Cricut um, on vinyl. I guess it's fusible vinyl because it went right on. And then she cut out a couple of, um, let's see if I can move the fabric around so that you can see the fun stuff. Can you see that star? I know I use purple fabric. I was trying to get things to show up. But she put, what is that, <clears throat> excuse me, a little star with some um, fancy little lines. And then she's got a little heart over here. She decorated each and one of them differently, different color uh, vinyl. Aren't they cute? That's my sister Renee who did that. She made all of our group one. Um, I just love them. I think they're cute. But it says Pro Quiltinator. And <laughs> we got that word from Helen. I believe Helen was the one who did that. And... Um, it stands for um, procrastinator. Uh, we're, we're not all procrastinators, but maybe we are. So, but we're quilters. And so Helen came up with the word proquiltinator. I thought that was just hilarious. So it stuck. Um, let's see here. What did I do this week? And I really did a lot. And um, one fun thing, I didn't do this, but here, let me move this over. My girlfriend, Janice. Skirkus. I told her, uh, oh, there's a big bad glare on this one. Let's see if I can take this out of the holder. Try not to make too much noise because the microphone picks everything up. This is an AccuQuilt die. It is for, oh gosh, that's noisy. The fall season. And you can't even see them. <laughs> it's just like a black piece of foam. Okay, maybe let's do this. Now you can see there's not as much of a glare. I'll do it this way. Now you can see it a little bit better. Okay, there's a pumpkin and a, um, what is that? An oak leaf, acorn, and a maple leaf. Or did I get those backwards? No. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, she brought this dye to one of our sit and sew Saturdays and I fell in love with it. And she said she's never going to use it. And I asked her if I could borrow it. So thank you, Janice. I got a lot of plans for that one for next fall. But, you know, we have to make the quilts before the season hits us so that if you're going to finish it, it's ready by that season. Um, here's some things I've been working on during, okay, I'm going to make a confession during church. Don't tell the pastor. Okay. Shh, be quiet. Don't, don't tell him. I sit in my seat and I sit in the second row and I sew. I love to bring something to work on. Um, let's see. Last year I was working on these yo-yos. Okay, can you see those? And this is this is the little tool um, or the template that I use. And then, so those are the small ones. I think those are, um, they finish less than two inches. And then I made this bigger one and it comes from the bigger yo-yo template. And um, I made 24 of this size because they're going on a quilt. And that's, that's the number I needed. And these, I have well over 400 of this size. So let's put these up against each other. You can see them. See, this one's the bigger one. This is the smaller one. How cool is that? I can't wait to finish them. I know that's what we call a UFO, an unfinished, unfinished object. Ha ha, cute. I know. 
All right, let me put those aside. And then, I know you, no, you can't see this. Okay, good. I was going to show you what's on my cutting mat, but haha, you can't see it yet. Okay, this is what I have been working on this week. I finally joined in with everyone else and started making um, hexies. I wasn't going to do this. I had no desire to do this because they're hand sewn. And anybody who knows me really well knows that I don't like to hand sew. I just have no desire for it. But these are addicting. Look at this. I already made these. And um, I take this to church. And I, um, I hand sew them in church. Now, for those of you who've never done these or are wondering what's, you can hear the paper in them. Um, my friend Linda, she's already made one. And so she handed me all of her, this is a um, uh, file, like you're going to file something away, uh, a folder, a file folder. That's the kind of uh, paper that it is. That's the thickness. And so she cut out all these hexes. She said she's never going to make another one again. And um, I think there's, I don't know how many is in the bag, but it was a, a Ziploc bag about that big. And it is full of them. The only problem I have, and if anybody out there that watches this video knows how to do this, see the diamond one here? I had a really hard time figuring out how to um, wrap the fabric around that one and sew it down or sew it in place. And it just drove me nuts. I couldn't figure it out. So if someone has a simpler method, can you send me an email or comment on the blog to say, hey, Nancy, this is how it works. Because yeah, I really struggled with that one. So let's put that aside. And then last week, now this is taped together because I'm going to show you. I had some leftover 60 degree, 60 degree triangles that I've been working with. And uh, the triangles were cut from my creative grid ruler. There, there's no glare. There you go. And um, love this ruler. It's been my favorite little tool this past couple weeks. And so now I'm going to show you what it looked like. Okay, now I've got this tape together. I don't know if you can see it because once I finished it, let me pull the tape off here. Well, actually, here you go. This is what I came up with. And the tape is stuck to my finger. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at the glare coming in now. The sun must be coming through. <laughs> Too many Christmas trees. Okay. So I did that. I love this block. I made one, two, <laughs> and da, 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 I made three. So I got to make one more and then I'm going to put them on the blue background and finish that up. It's just going to be a little wall hanging. But you see this piece right here? This, this is a leftover. These were leftovers. All right, now I'm going to show you what to do with those later on. I know I keep saying later on, later on, but I got to write up the, the pattern. I got to get the numbers right so that you, if you want to make it, you know what to do. Because I don't want to leave you stranded or, or just hanging out there. Um, I didn't make anything with these. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, can you see these? Oh, and that's backwards. Okay, I will have to uh, do the mirror image of this one when I save it. Um, I hope I can flip that around. But anyway, these are creative grids. They're non-slip rulers. They come in the dimensions two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half. And I use them, the six and a half one, to cut out this circle right here. Now, isn't this cool? I'm going to show you this block. I made this block this weekend. Isn't that neat? Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then I made this one. Now this one I was playing with my stitches on my um, my sewing machine. I have a Baby Lock Aria and I have a Baby Lock Elisa Mo too. Um, <clears throat> but I was playing with the stitches to see what I could do and, and I'm trying to learn how to line everything up. I, and I got kind of sidetracked and I, <laughs> I went off in La La Land and I, I didn't line those up. So anyway, but this week, today, actually, I've got a little quilt on the long arm machine. I have lots of quilts that I have to get done this week. So, oh, I just hope I can do that. But I have a lot of creative juices flowing and I really want a piece this week, but that's going to have to be put off. So anyway, I hope everybody's staying warm and safe and um, be good. So toodles, everybody. Bye.